the most exciting part of this journey is watching God's homeschool movement unfold. I mean, it's just, it's just really neat, really amazing to me. You know, experiencing my own family, you know, getting pulled into the homeschool movement and seeing that, what it did for my brother plus what it did for our whole family, and then just watching, just watching this movement um, begin and unfold, you know, through the 80s. <clears throat> Prior to that, there were pioneers that were, that were homeschooling illegally. In every state of our country, there were those that were underground um, that were just doing it because they, they were rescuing their kids, you know. And so we're all standing on their shoulders. I mean, it just, without those early pioneers taking those risks, once every, once every state legalized um, homeschooling, it just it started growing like wildfire. And I think, you know, the most exciting part of it, even the same today as then, was just watching a family transform, watching this intimacy come back, watching parents go, oh, this is my kid. This isn't the state's kid. This, this kid doesn't belong to the government. God gave me this kid and just, you know, and, and plenty of families, you know, never send their kids to school. They believe that way from the beginning, but, but our society teaches, you know, to a large degree that you submit your child to, um, in fact, the, the first line of the public school law says loco in parentis, which means in place of the parent. So all the statutes that have to do with the, with the school system, um, have to do with surrendering your kid. So there's a spiritual thing that happens there. So, and, and I think behind that is where God comes in and says, no, this is wrong, this is all wrong. I gave those kids to you. These are your children. And so, it, you know, homeschooling is not about, it's not about the books and the ac academics. It is, but it isn't, it's about the character building, it's about the, the, the shaping of a, of a young person um, that will go on to be part of, uh, part of God's kingdom, part of society. And um, so the, the most exciting thing to me is still just watching that happen, just watching parents bring their kids home and, and, uh, or keep them home <laughs> and enjoy them, you know? Homeschooling is not a magic button. I mean, we say all these wonderful glowing things about it, but it's still not just a magic button. So if a family has, you know, parenting issues or marriage problems or other things going on, homeschooling won't necessarily fix those things. Now, having a kid, you know, fractured from the family and, and enduring, you know, a, a, a school experience of hate, that definitely causes a tremendous amount of stress. So there can be a great relief in bringing a kid home but it's not a magic button. I would say, I would say, uh, open your eyes and your heart and your mind and your spirit to the person in front of you. And first and foremost, try to see that younger person through God's eyes. How does God see this person? Because there's so much noise. There's so much noise just ongoing opinions about how, when, where, why, <clears throat> and it all just, it's this barrage of stuff, and most of that is, is, is just noise. And so I think my advice to a father, to, to a, a, a mother would be just, to, just pause, you know, <laughs> I mean, just pause for a second. If you're gonna homeschool, that's a great decision. But take a minute and pause. And if you if your kid's been in public school and you're pulling him or her out, um, that pause may need to be longer, depending on on how much desystematizing needs to happen. And that's that's a big part of it because <clears throat> the system as we know it has a standardized curriculum, a, a standardized testing, standardized scope and sequence standardized grades, everything's standardized, right? 
Well, all of that falsely assumes that kids are standardized, and they're not. The kids are all over the map. They, there's no such thing as a standardized kid, and we accept that in other areas. You know, if a child has not learned to walk yet, we just, just give them time. We believe there's a range at which children learn to walk or talk or do other things, learn the alphabet or whatever. But when it comes to school, we're like, kindergarten, it's time to read a pop up. You know, and it's like, the kid's not standardized. So when you're choosing to homeschool, the first thing you gotta do is go, okay, forget all that systematized stuff and that standardization, my kid is unique. He's, he or she is one of a kind. Who is he? Who is she? You gotta know what you're getting into. You know, you've gotta do the research. It's not yeah. just, you know, okay, I decided to homeschool, okay, now what? You know, you, this is a decision that it affects your, your marriage, it affects your parenting, it affects your whole family life. You know, this is not something that's entered into lightly. Um, you know, so doing, taking the time and doing the reading and the research and, and finding out, you know, what do I actually, if you don't know anything about homeschooling, you know, learn about the history, learn about the roots, learn about why people are choosing to do it. Um, and then developing your own personal philosophy of education, just knowing, you know, what do you, what are your thoughts on how education should look, but then also coupling that with how does my child learn? You know, if you have a very, you know, rigid, you know, classic, standardized philosophy of education, there's nothing wrong with that unless you're trying to make a kid who is a kinetic learner who has to move and jump and mm -hmm. jump on the trampoline in order to memorize spelling words, it, those two things are going to clash unless you figure out a way to make them meld. Mm -hmm. So, you know, both of those things, in my opinion, have, they have to go hand in hand. You know, none of us are immune from problems or conflict. None of us are perfect. There's no such thing as a perfect parent. So we need God. We need God's help.